Hi guys, hope you're well. So we're gonna do your legs and abs workout that you can crack on with at home. So for the workouts, you're only gonna need a couple of dumbbells, that's it. And what we're gonna do is six different exercises. What we're gonna do is set on one, rest, set on the other, rest, and we'll go through one exercise after the other until you've done a set on each, and that'll be the end of a round, and we'll do four rounds in total, okay? So a little bit different than what we're used to at a minute where we're doing all the sets on the same one. We'll run through each one, rest, and then go back to the start, run through each one, and rest. So we're gonna do, like I say, four rounds, and we'll do 45 seconds on, 15 seconds rest. We'll do six different lower body exercises, and when we're finished, we'll do a little lab circuit at the end where we'll run through six little lab exercises, same timings, uh, we'll do one round of that on abs, all right? If you want to add a bit more volume on the abs, you can do two rounds, three rounds. That's fine, we'll just do one at the end. But well, first up, we're going to do the lower body workout, okay? I'll do the whole workout with you so you can keep checking, making sure your form's okay. Uh, make sure you keep pushing yourself as much as you can, train along with me. Obviously, I'll be playing the music, so you can train along with the music that I'll be playing, or if you want to sync it up, the track that we're gonna use is on the members area. It's the online members track at the bottom of the page, it's 45 seconds on, 15 rest. All right, so most of the exercises you've probably done before, might be a few you haven't. So if you need to, just pause the video, have a little practice. And if you've got several different um, types of weights, then make sure you're setting your weights up so you're really pushing yourself and challenging yourself with the weights for each round and each set. All right, so the first exercise we're gonna do is a front squat. All right, so dumbbells up onto the shoulders. We're gonna load the front of the body. So you can either sit them on the shoulders, or you can sit them just in front of the body. They really focus on the quads a little bit more when we load the front of the body. So shoulder width with the feet. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add a partial rep at the bottom, okay? So we're gonna do one and a quarter reps. So we'll go down into your squats, pushing up through the heels, Add the partial in and then back up. All right, so you've got a little pulse rep at the bottom just to keep a bit more tension on the muscle for a little bit longer. All right, we'll do 45 seconds on, have your rest, and then we'll on to the next exercise, which is going to be hip thrusts. So you can do these on the floor or if you've got your sofa or a chair, a lot bit better, get a bit of bigger range of motion if you use your chair or your sofa. So with your weight, sit it on the hips. Feet underneath the knees, from there we're gonna sink down, nice and deep, and then we're pushing up through the heels, squeezing those glutes nice and tight at the top, getting in the good parallel line in your body. So nice and deep, up, squeeze, and we're all parallel, keeping that chin tucked, squeeze, and back. All right, so hip thrusts. After that, we're gonna do Romanian deadlifts, but we're going to do single leg Romanian deadlifts, okay? So really to focus on your balance and your stability. And if you need to hold on to something, that's fine. We're going to focus on one leg at a time. So we'll do a set on one leg and a set on the other. So like we were doing, say, we've done before, of all the hours, it's all in the hips. It's hip hinge. And we're trying to focus on a good stretch of the hamstring at the back of the legs, all right? So what we're going to do is just roll one dumbbell down the stationary leg, keeping the back nice and straight. Hinging at the hips, stretch and back. We're staying on the same leg, stretch that hamstring and back. All right, so we'll do the whole set on one leg. Like I say, hold on to something if you need to, or battle the hands to keep your balance and back. Exactly the same the other side. Roll it down front of the leg, back nice and straight, and back. Just touching that foot. And then into your next repetition. All right, so we'll do one set on the right, one set on the left. So that's four exercises done. The next one after that, exercise number five, we'll do hamstring curls. So move your dumbbell, pop it onto the floor. What we're gonna do is lie on your belly, wrap your feet around that dumbbell, okay? So it's in between your feet. From there, we're going to curl it up, bending the knees, keeping the hips pushed down to the floor, squeeze and back. Just tapping it on the floor and back. Really focus on controlling it back. So two to three seconds on the way down, 
and then we're driving up and squeezing those hamstrings nice and tight. Right, so we'll do the whole set there, 45 seconds. And the last exercise we'll do is good old reverse lunges, okay? So dumbbells either side. We'll finish off and his hamstrings should be fried by then. Chest up, back nice and straight, big stride, nice and deep, and up. And we're alternating legs as we go through. Any reverse lunges. All right, that's all six exercises that we're going to do. So we'll quickly get warmed up, just get loose, and we'll get going. Backgrounds. Right, squats. All right, I'll get set up there. Get the music set up, get yourselves ready, get your weights set, and we'll start. So, first one we're gonna do is these squats. Front squats, and you've got that partial rep at the bottom, okay? So the music set up. All right, it's all set, guys. Where we go? Partial and up. Partial and up. Fifteen seconds. And we're on to hip thrusts next. Okay, so on to Sophie, you're on four if you need to. Get that weight on. Right, down, back, and squeeze. Concentrate on the contraction at the top, guys. Squeeze those glutes. Always focus on what muscle we're trying to work. My muscle connection. Alright, 15 seconds. On to single leg RDLs. Okay, so pause it if you need to, have a little practice. Rolling it down, hinging it at the hips. That leg nice and stable, nice and balanced. All the tensions in that hamstring are going to the stretch. to balance or if you need to just hold on to something just keep yourself nice and stable all right same again next side then next leg follow the arms again Keep 
keeping the back straight over the hips. So we're going to do one more again, and after the next two rounds, we get a minute's rest to recover. So back to front squats, that partial at the bottom, shoulder width to the feet, nice and deep, push, back down, and up. Pulse, and up. Land the toes, don't let them cave in, pushing them out. Nice 
nice and slow and control on the way down. A good stretch and drive back and squeeze that glute as you come through at the top. On that right side. Squeeze it through. All on the hips guys, keep going. Rest. Yeah. Okay, same again on the side. Balance, stable. I'm going to give you a little practice if you've not done them before.
I'm driving the hips into the floor, keeping that bum down. Ah. Ah. 
45 seconds, guys. Grab a drink, recover. We've got one more set to get through. On each one. Oh. Two left, hamstring curls, get in position. Nice and tight, that dumbbell, squeeze, get those hips down. Four, 
exercises. All exercises you've probably done before as well. So, whilst you're recovering, I'll run through your ab exercises. Like I say, you've done them all before. So, we're going to start off doing a weighted sit-up. Alright, so you can have your legs bent. I like to have mine straight, a bit more challenging. So, plate for a dumbbell up above. Sitting up and back and really arching up so you're engaging those abs, you're not using the hip flexors. As you come up, push your lower back into the ground, into your sit up and back. Alright, after that we're going to do Russian twists. So again, so with your waist like we were doing, the end of the programs. Feet up, twisting, rotating, hitting those obliques. Then we're going to do leg raises. And flat on the back, hands can get... Just sit underneath if you need that bit of support on your lower back. But I should be engaged, pushing that lower back in. You know, lift up. Slowly come down. Not touching those feet on the floor. Into your next rep. Alright, so into your leg raises. The third one. Then we're going to go into bicycle sit-ups. Into position. Bring your knee up to the other elbow. Back. Rotating through. Again, obliques. After that fifth one, we'll do alternating toe touches. So that's on the back again, low back push in, feet up. We're going to reach up, touch your toes, the opposite side. All right, keeping those shoulders constantly off the ground. Toe touches, it's those obliques again, and then we'll finish the hollow holes that we've done before in sessions. So hands and feet, arms and legs rather. Outstretched, you're just going to come up just in that whole position, constant tension on. Try and do it for as long as we can through the 45. If you need to, take tension off, a few seconds, and then go again. Alright, so I'll get the trap rewound, and we'll run through that circuit once. Like I say, you can go through it as many times as you want. So I'll start off with the weighted sit ups. Alright, so get yourself set and ready, and we'll go again. Alright, sitting up, squeezing those abs, and back. And then drive that lower back in as you come up. Right, make your reps count, then just do them. Legs up. 
One side, really rotate around, back to the centre, and to the other side. Down as far as we can, all that tension on those obliques, those rotational muscles. And back, nice and slow and controlled. In the core tight. Now guys, he's touching the opposite toe. Again, lower back, pushed in. Right, so legs up. Really reach up, using those abs, crunch up. Yeah. Right, well done. So it's your lower body, abs, 
Could be pretty fried, pretty torch, hamstrings, glutes especially. That's great, so. Let's crack on with that workout again. If you want to repeat it a few times throughout the next, however long it is now, 25, 26 days, hopefully until the gym is open back up. And as I said to you before, we'll crack on, pick up from where we left off as soon as we can on your Thursday or Friday nights. We've got three weeks left. Um, and we'll carry on from there, all right? So you have stretched off, recovered, well done. Any questions, like I say, always just reach out, let me know. I'll see you all soon.